Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, October the 27th. Good to have you with us today. I want to introduce you to uh, Dana Glantz. Dana, good to have you. And you brought, and of course Dana's from Osteostrong. But you brought along a very special guest today. We're I gonna did. have her tell her story. Yeah, this is uh, Heather Gaylert, and she's gonna talk about, uh, she's a member at Osteo Strong, and she's also a cancer survivor. Okay, and Heather, you were telling me before we went on about your cancer. Thank God you're in remission right now. I am. But what happened, and what happened to your bones with the treatment for the cancer? Sure. Well, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in uh, August of 2019, and I've gone through chemotherapy, surgeries, targeted therapies, all kinds of really harsh treatments that unfortunately cause a person's bone density to decline. And I wanted to be really proactive and think from a prevention mindset, and I thought, what can I do besides just pharmaceutical solutions to help increase my bone density. And that's when I found out from my physical therapist about OsteoStrong. So you, your physical therapist recommended treatments like OsteoStrong. He did. And are you doing this on a regular basis? I am, I do it weekly. I go uh, once a week and do, it's a really short but intense session with uh, strength training and there's even some massage at the end, so it's really fun as well. And I've already noticed big improvements to my strength, my energy. I have less fatigue. I have less pain, which is big because cancer treatments also tend to cause a lot of bone and muscle and joint pain. Have the bones increased in density? I can't say for sure. I would need to have a bone scan to tell um, if they have increased, but I can tell you that what OsteoStrong does is it delays the decrease that would be happening with my treatment. So it's like applying a break and stopping that decline. So the medication that you were forced to take because of the cancer caused the bones to lose density. And by the targeted exercise program that you're doing, over at OsteoStrong, it is causing the bones to not lose the density that they had with the medication that we used to save your life. Exactly. And it's more effective, too, than traditional weight-bearing exercise because it's very precise with the right amount of force, the right angles, and it's just kind of like a scientific hack that helps my body to retain uh, bone mass more than traditional forms of exercise. So what you're doing is you're, you're, you're putting a blast of force on your bones, right? Yes, It's exactly. a blast of force. And that kind of, uh, it, it sounds like it, you're really pushing hard. You are, but you're pushing the correct way, which is forcing, telling the bones that they need to make more mass. That's exactly correct. Okay. And it's, it's easy. You get... Um, a lot out of it, but it doesn't leave me tired or anything like that. Mm. And uh, I'm just, my quality of life is so much higher now. I have more confidence. I'm, and in fact, I can lift more now than I could pre-cancer. Yeah. So it's well, a lot I, of benefits. I'm so glad you came on and shared your story with us today. And I'm glad I'm, you're in remission and our prayers are with you that you'll stay in remission. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Dana, thank you for coming by. If people want more information, how do they get in yeah, touch they with can, you, Dana? Uh, they can Google OsteoStrong Columbia, and our number is uh, 554-5881. Okay, that's area code 573. Yes. 554-5881. Thank you both so much for coming You're by. You're welcome. Always Good a pleasure having you. Thank you. 
Okay, now I want to introduce you to another friend of mine. We go back many, many, many years. It makes us feel old, doesn't it? <laughs> Melinda Lockvin, good to have you here. And we used to call you the Gourd Goddess yes. when you were on the Kids Corner with Uncle James on Pepper and Friends. You're still the Gourd Goddess. <laughs> but you're here today because she grows these beautiful gourds. And you're here today to talk about uh, Fall Into Art. What is Fall Into Art? Well, Fall Into Art is an art show that we had for 10 years at the Parkade Center. Yeah. For the last two years, we have not had it. Because and, of COVID. Yes, because of COVID. And so this year, our Fall Into Art will be at the Knights of Columbus, just right up from the Parkade yeah, Center. Yeah, I know where the Knights the of Columbus Because the Parkade Center, is. they quit doing events and sold to someone else. And so... So we got Knights of Columbus. Okay, where the big flagpole is. That, yeah, that's right, the Knights right of Columbus right across from well, that. Yeah, yes, it is. But there, it's actually a cell tower. They've been working on it with the cranes. Is that what they're doing? <laughs> yes, they're putting. Yeah, they've been upgrading the cell okay. tower. Okay. All right. So fall into art. When is it running? It will be this weekend, October 29th and 30th. Okay, so this Saturday and Sunday. This Saturday how and many, Sunday. How many vendors will be there? I, we have 37, 38 wow. vendors, yes. And uh, she brought along... <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the gourds that you painted yourself. Am I holding the queen gourd goddess right here? Well, that is the goddess of prosperity. Okay. So calling that in. Yeah, that's a be it's a beautiful <laughs> gourd. And then I've got another one here. For, describe it for people listening on the radio. Well, that's the goddess of home and hearth. That's okay. She is some. holding a uh, she's holding a flame. She's yes, she's holding a flame, just like the fire in your home. Okay. So, so how many? Well, you said how many different artists will be there, but when you think of individual pieces of art, there will be thousands. Oh, there we will have wood turning, jewelry, ceramics, wood turning, wood turning, like wood turn bowls. Oh, wood turning. Yeah, okay. wood turning and. Um, uh, jewelry, pottery, um, fiber. Uh, so if you are looking for one-of-a-kind type of artwork, yes, you will find it here. You're not going to find duplicates. Most likely, you're not going to find duplicates. So if you want to find something for somebody special or if you want to start your Christmas shopping early, that's a, that's a good place to go. And... Uh, you're also doing it as a benefit, right? We we have we also have a silent auction. We've always had a silent auction. Our artists have been generous enough to donate a piece in the silent auction that runs until Saturday and Sunday until two o'clock. Okay. And the benefit of the money from that will go to a new non for profit, not necessarily new, but called Compass Music, which is a music school for underserved children okay so and they'll be playing music the whole time they will be playing music. all right so mark it on your calendar is fall in www.fallintoart.org for more information but it will be this saturday and sunday at the knights of columbus hall in columbia thank you melinda for coming by thank you. all right something thank you'd like you. to hear and see drop me an email pepper p missouri.edu bye-bye